tonight, a local woman who took a job as a nurse thinking it would be a short-term job nearly 50 years ago finally calls it a career tonight. Pam Wiggins worked her final shift as a nurse at JFK Hospital in Atlantis, and she took Ari Height on a walk through a lifetime of memories. Pam Wiggins has worked for the same employer since 1976. She's been here at JFK Hospital since 1995. And after nearly half a century, she is finally hanging up her stethoscope. This is my last walkthrough on JFK. Pam Wiggins is saying goodbye. I'm going to miss you. She is retiring as a nurse at JFK Hospital in Atlantis, a job she's held for 47 years. Uh, it's gone by so fast, I can't believe it's... It's here, it's been 47 years. Pam was 19 when she started, 23 when she graduated from nursing school in 1980. Tried to think back on the early days and like my first patients and it's like, it's been so long I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Pam says she has loved being a nurse, though she has not loved every minute of it. She served through the HIV years, but says nothing was more challenging than the pandemic, working in a COVID ward. They look at you like, help me, you know, and it's like, it's like, it was really uh, heartbreaking in a lot of cases. Through it all, she says it's the patients she will remember the most, the co-workers she will cherish. <laughs> they threw her a party on her last day. We yeah. have the Pam S. Wiggins oh. orthopedic break room. Oh. And named the break room after her. Pam recognizes she leaves behind a nursing shortage. She hopes there will be others to take her place to learn the joy of caring for others. What was the best thing about the 47 years? What's the best thing about being a nurse? Uh, seeing people get better and get out of the hospital and continue their lives. And that is exactly what Pam is now doing herself. One more hug for the retiree. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you too. Pam tells me the first thing that she's going to do is travel. She has family in Seattle and Hawaii. After that, she says she's going to figure it out. Right now, she has the time to do that. At JFK Hospital, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.